Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. There was much volatility in the markets on Friday as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, rebounded from the lows of 100.38 to a high around 101.40. From the pullback, though, we settled in New York at 101.24. This, in terms, viewed the Australian dollar reject that 60-day moving average around the region of 67.95 to 68 cents after posting a high of 68.05 and plummeted over a cent and settled at 67.01. In light of the pattern, the market has not quite confirmed the bearish sentiment but looking at the RSI, along with the MACD, could see further weakness into today. We're looking to the challenge of 66.75.80, with beneath the key support level that is seen at 65.90.95. So it looks like some of these markets may be in a slight correction in the short term due to the rejection. As we look at the euro, the market also rejected the top side key level, and from that has posted an engulfing candle or a bearish outside range day, close to a key reversal and therefore awaits confirmation. In light of the pattern, if we see the market break through the level of 109.3040, then we could see further weakness into today's price action or this week and look towards the region of 107.35, a key level. Dollar yen rebounds and still remains on track for the challenge of 134. 80 area. I feel that the market has potential of even going beyond there up towards 138, but we need the break of 134, 80, 90 to support that call. Any pullback likely to be shallow with support seen around 133, 45 minor and a base around 132, 60, 75. A very strong rejection for the sterling also after the market took the challenge towards that top side level around 125. 4065 area and was rejected and posted an engulfing candle. That gives further indication now that the RSI has broken the midway point that the bears are likely to weigh on the support level. And look back towards the region somewhere of 123 and a half and the base short term holding at around 123 10 15 and reassess from there. The market found a little bit of difficulty in climbing further for gold as we reject the region somewhere around the 20. 45 area or 2045 and now looks back towards the downside as the technicals are somewhat heavy with the MACD also. If so, a break of 1995 would see further indication to the bear case and look towards 1982 to 1958 to 64. Bearish divergence is still holding for oil and I'm still waiting for this gap to be filled or this breakaway rally that we saw here and then the fact is that we could see this gap eventually uh, completed if the fact is the bearish divergence strengthens. There is no trend now looking at the ADX supporting the bull case and therefore I do feel that we are looking for a pullback and therefore looking for the first support region somewhere around the level of 8170 and then down to 80 and a half and with the base broader term holding where the gap is expected to be filled around 75.75. Well, that's a wrap for the start of the day. Thank you very much for joining me, but please keep an eye out for the intraday report and also the end of the day wrap.